what is going on you guys welcome to the video as you guys can see the mustang is way over there right now because uh because we're not working on that today this bad girl this is today's project so if you guys are new to the channel this is my daily this is my 1998 lexus gs 300 that used to be my great grandmother's car and uh, and now it's mine um if you notice the wheels are a little bit different that's because the other day somebody ran me off the road and uh, and i cracked the front wheel not this wheel the other wheel and, uh, and then pop both tires, blah, 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 long story short, had to get some new wheels for it. And uh, luckily, uh, Faison over at Mob Auto um, used to have a GS and, and he has some extra wheels for it. So he gave me these, so big thank you to him. Um, so the only problem with these wheels is they were sitting outside his dad's shop for a long time outside and they're gross. And guys, when I mean a long time, I mean a long time, okay? Faison's really old. And uh, if you just see his hairline, uh, that'll tell you almost everything you need to know. So uh, big thank you to him for giving me the wheels. Uh, but now it's time to, to, to de-ugly them. So I know everybody's got their own right way. Where's the light? Of how to paint wheels. And uh, there is no right way because everybody uh, knows better than everybody else. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do ours. We're gonna do it cheaply. We're gonna do it in such a way to where you guys should be able to do it and it's gonna cost you around 40 bucks for everything start to finish. So let's turn this around. <coughs> and I've got everything set up for you guys in order which we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start off with just some Dawn just to get these things cleaned up a little bit. We're gonna get a good scrub on them. Then we're gonna move over to, you're gonna do a 600 grit uh, sandpaper. We're gonna wet sand it uh, just to try and uh, prep the surface a little bit. Then we're gonna go to just uh, universal blah, blah, blah primer. And this is where it gets a little expensive. This is where, I mean, I guess, you know, relatively expensive. Um, you can do any kind of spray paint. I wanted to go for some nice VHT high temp wheel paint just to get a good gloss on it. And then I got an urge to get a good coat and then the right kind of paint. And then I've got a uh, clear coat for it as well. No cards of the tires, we'll get to that. And then this to kind of keep the garage floor nice. Um, so let's get the car up in the air and then uh, and then we'll get going. Alrighty guys, so I've got car up in the air. Luckily, I've got jack stands that have disappeared. We're in the process of moving right now, so things are getting boxed up. But okay, so this is before, just cleaning it. And this is kind of after. So like I said, it's not terrible, but you got clear coat peeling off. I mean, it's just been, like I said, just sitting outside for, you know, decades because it's old phase on this. So uh, we'll get this other one cleaned up and then we'll get both these pro. We're just going to do two wheels at a time. All right, guys, so I've got our 600 grit sandpaper. Big tip with this, make sure you're doing in a cross hatch pattern. You're trying to get a real good coverage on this whole wheel. That way the primer's got a really, a really consistent surface to stick to. Fun fact, I hate sandpaper. It makes me cringe, but uh, let's, I guess, let's, get, let's get going. So wheels are clean, um, have the same gross body look on them, but they're all smooth now. So they're all the same consistency, so that's good. Um, couple things, one, whenever you're painting anything, try and paint it you know, vertically if you can, uh, just because especially with spray cans, spray cans don't like being flat or upside down or anything. They really like to be upright. So really try and set it up to where you can paint as, uh, as upright as you can. Secondly, always be mindful of what's behind you. And this is a lot of my wife's stuff. We don't really care about it. Just kidding. I've got some tarp down. That way nothing should get, uh, nothing should get graphite gray. So let's get these postcards open, these little ruler cards. This is always a cool trick. You need playing cards too. Um, it's always a cool trick because the people that know this trick are like, oh, yep, that's the trick. And the people that don't know this trick blows their minds. So instead of, you know, tape is straight. So instead of trying to tape this up, what you do, if I can get it to work right here for you guys, is you just, Stick a little, a little postcard in there. And uh, once, normally once you do a bunch of them, they kind of fan out a little bit. We'll be able to push it back a little bit once we have all of them in. Okay, so normally I'd like to use like a darker primer for this, but uh, this is all AutoZone had at the time, so we're gonna go with a white primer, and uh, let's boogie. 
So again, always with painting, you, you never want to start and stop on the paint because then you're going to get heavy spots. So say if I spray here to here and then stop, but then I start here again, now I've hit this twice and I've hit the rest of this once. So always you're going to want to start kind of by a note card. So spray here, off, by a note card, and back. We're going to do one light coat of primer followed by two medium-ish coats just to, just to get it covered. Let that dry for about a half an hour and then, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get some of the gray on. Here we go. All right guys, so first coat of primer is done and on both of these. Uh, the big thing you need when it comes to painting wheels is patience. So I'm off all day today. So um, we're gonna do about 20, 25 minutes between each coat. So we'll come back in 20 minutes, do another coat, 20 minutes, do a coat, and then we'll go ahead and put the gray on. Same thing, about 20 minutes between coats. And, uh, and then we'll start on the other two wheels. So I said, big thing is patience, play a lot of Call of Duty, because that's probably what I'm gonna do today. So uh, we'll see you guys back down here in a little bit, and uh, I'll get the other two coats on by myself. You guys don't need to see that. And uh, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do next once we start getting the gray on. All right, guys, been a minute. Been a few minutes, actually. Let's, uh, let's get the gray on. Dang it. These cards keep falling off. This ain't gonna be the best tutorial. Maybe it's just for you guys to watch and not any new guys to watch. So if you're new to this channel, just ignore this video now because uh, it's not going to plan. Okay, here we go. Sweet, well, there's a good first dusting light coat. Let's uh, we'll knock the other one out and then, uh, then we'll start slowing it down a little bit. It's already looking good, I like the color. So, sweet. All right guys, so here's the current after. These things look, whoo -ho -ho, these look so much better. Uh, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of clear coat now, just to, uh, probably two coats of clear, just to kind of give it a little more shine. And uh, that's good. We're gonna let it dry the rest of the day and uh, we'll get it back on the car this afternoon. We'll knock out the, uh, the left side. So we'll get the clear on and I will meet back up with you guys after we get them back on the car. Ooh. Okay, so passenger side up in the air. I got passenger side wheels, both clean and prepped ready to go, or clean. And then these are back on. Check that out. I'll put it up to before and then the after. Tell me that does not look a million times better. Yep, I approve. Let's get these up and done. Uh, let's get these in the air and done. Or in the air. Let's get these sprayed down, masked off and done. And then uh, we'll get some better pictures of it. But so far, I'm very happy. Yeah, it's been about three, four hours now. So everything's back on the car. And uh, like I said, not, you know, coolest thing in the world, but much, much better looking than it was before. So I will take this 100% over what it used to look like. So sorry, car's filthy, drives a lot. But uh, yeah, man, that's it. I'm pretty cool with it. Sweet. So, sorry guys. So, all right, well guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, like I said, you know, I'm not an expert, but um, I think it looks a lot better than it used to. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So, bye. Well, I guess for those of you guys that are watching this video, if you watch the car videos, 
then I guess this is a good behind the scenes for you because um, when I'm not putting on the voice and trying to film that, I'm just sitting here looking at my dirty garage. There's my mountain bike, a mountain bike by the way. Not as much as I should, but it's there. In my fridge. My sister used to, uh, my used to be, she still is in the Air Force, and uh, she used to be stationed in Germany, in Ramstein, and uh, she went to Nürburgring. She's got a Focus ST, and she put that on the Nürburgring, so that was cool. And then I gotta represent my boy. But, uh, yeah, this place needs a, uh, this place needs a going through. Anybody want anything? I'm gonna do a giveaway. Somebody want that bucket? How about that shelf? Anybody want a shelf? What about, I'm gonna give away a lot of stuff. Those are some sheets right there, those are brand new. Anybody need a pair of sheets? Uh, how about a blender? Cause I've got, <laughs> for some reason, I've got two in my garage. Let's see, I have a new toolbox. I have a new toolbox. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm very much rambling right now. So let's, uh, I guess let's take this party upstairs and we'll go get some lunch. Cause I am getting hungry. 